loves how's it going hope all is well welcome back to my channel today i'm here to talk about a situation that was just literally sent to me and i went online just to research it to look it up and to see what i could find and it was a very 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 sad situation a new york couple was vacationing in the dominican republic and they did not return back to the united states a lot of people are just now becoming aware but it has been almost two weeks since their families have heard from them. Orlando Moore traveled to this five-star resort in Samana in the Dominican Republic with his girlfriend, Portia Ravenel, on March 23rd. They posted pictures to social media sharing their smiles and adventures. But when they should have been welcomed home five days later, communication, their family says, instead went dark. Orlando Moore and his girlfriend, Portia, flew out of the United States from Newark International Airport around midnight on March 23rd. His sister, Lachey Turner, said that she did not hear from her brother since he left the United States and the couple was expected to return on March 27th. This is definitely not my, not my brother. He's not gonna just run off on a hi hiatus and don't tell his family. Turner did file a missing persons report with the Mount Vernon police on March 29th and attempted to inform the police on the island but she said she had a lot of difficulty due to the language barrier. Mount Vernon is not really discussing this case. The U.S. Customs and Border Protection also declined to comment on this case. However, the Embassy of the Dominican Republic in Washington, D.C., they did release a statement. At present time, we are working directly with the attorney's office on the matter at hand. As such, it is part of an ongoing investigation and we are not at liberty to comment nor speculate. U.S. officials are also involved in some capacity was limited in what they could release to the press only telling us via email they are aware of the case okay so this is what we know the couple had been staying in an all-inclusive resort in the northeast town of Samana the hotel was also a hundred miles away from the airport they rented a white Kia for sightseeing and also to get back and forth from and to the airport they have not released any type of license plate information to identify the car. There was a couple that spoke out to CNN that stayed at the exact same resort as Moore and Portia. They said on the morning of March 25th, the two couples met up on a cart ride to the breakfast buffet at the resort. Immediately, the couple was very friendly and they invited Freeman and the boyfriend to eat breakfast with them. After the breakfast, the couple parted ways and exchanged emails so that they can meet up the next day, which was Tuesday, March 26th, which was their last day and night on vacation. So according to the couple, after breakfast on that Tuesday, the couples sat by the pool, they drank pina coladas until it started to rain. They agreed to meet back up in the lobby at 1230. The couple told CNN that Moore told them he had made some friends with the hotel bartender the night before. And that bartender sent them to a friend for sightseeing. So that day, Moore and the couples, they went to meet up with the bartender friend to go horseback riding and to find the waterfall. You know, throughout the day, Freeman did say Portia was very, very worried about, you know, driving all the way to the airport being that it was roughly 100 miles away. She reported that she called the rental company several times. I guess it was something in her spirit that she just did not feel was right. According to the couple from Nova Scotia, Ravenel was very concerned about that late night drive. She was concerned about how much gas was in the car, how much juice was in her phone, because she wanted to make sure to have GPS. She called the rental car company multiple times. That car company reportedly told her not to roll down the windows to any locals because they could get mugged. So the couple returned to the hotel and they didn't separate it for dinner. They agreed to meet back up around 8.30 to go up to a disco. At the bar, the couple split a bottle of rum. They also saw the hotel bartender and his wife there. Again, she said that Portia was very, very nervous 
wanted to leave because she was so worried about traveling to the airport and returning the car. Freeman also added that she was nervous as a tourist and she said that they were constantly harassed by the locals and they followed them around and begged them to do stuff. They returned to the resort around 9 30 10 Tuesday. They hugged goodbye in the lobby and they promised to exchange photos over email and to keep in touch. At about 9.30 p.m. on March 26th, these two couples said goodbye in the lobby. And according to the couple from Nova Scotia, Moore and Revenel were going to check out of the hotel and drive here to Santo Domingo to catch a 2 a.m. flight on March 27th. Freeman said the last thing the couple told them were that they were going upstairs to pack and to check out. After the couple left, Freeman's boyfriend sent Moore an email wishing them a safe flight and he said he never heard back from them. Moore told CNN she did not even know that they were missing until March 31st when she discovered several emails from Portia's family. Freeman said that no law enforcement agency have contacted her about disappearance and she also said it would be very very hard for her to believe that they would make any stops during their travel because of how scared and cautious Portia was. Moore's sister tells NBC News both were due back March 27th. Police confirmed they checked out of the hotel, but family says neither made it on the flight back home. Now, 11 days later, both Moore and Ravenel's cell phones are off. Their vacation rental car missing. Back home, Moore's car sitting in an airport parking lot. I just hope everyone can help me find these people. After watching a lot of news and looking at a lot of articles, I did notice that the reports are stating that they did not speak to their family. If I'm not mistaken, him and his sister did exchange snaps when he was at the hotel. We were on Snapchat together, so like he did Snapchat and I saw him like at the hotel. Also, the couple that they met at the resort also said that Portia was on the phone with her daughter on March 27th, the last day that they were there. We already know that the police is not going to give us much information on this case as they told the news and many other sites. So I went on Facebook just to see what some of the missing black and brown people groups are saying and on Instagram and I found some of these comments. Now these can't be confirmed but I just found it interesting. A young lady said some of the details don't add up. The police are investigating. They said their flight was at 1.30 and they crossed a toll near the airport at 1.41. They were the only two people in the car. They seemed fine on the traffic footage. Not sure if they're highlighting this on the news down there in the DR, but it's kind of hard for me to believe that being that a lot of the news sources said that their flight left at 2 o'clock, there's no way possible that you can board, go through check-in and customs at 1.41. Um, my logic and my guess is that they never even made it near the airport. Now I did see this several times on social media of them saying that they have the IDs, passports, and the rental car, which will totally, totally debunk what the last young lady said, but this cannot be confirmed by his family nor her family, so I do not believe this one whatsoever. It's very unfortunate. Now I did see another post of a man saying that they found his phone on the island and when it was FaceTime. It was picked up by locals. This is the last situation that I want to talk about regarding the internet. Now Tiffany is someone on Instagram that initially made this post about Orlando and Portia. Now she received a message from one of the missing brown and black people website and they asked why did she remove it and she said she removed the post based off of Portia Immediate's family's wishes. Now that post and comment was made way before all this media attention now and it has been stated that Portia's family is in the DR looking for her. I just want everybody to be cautious when they're traveling because they did have an advisory report that came out in February. In February, the State Department issued a travel advisory for the Dominican Republic telling tourists to exercise increased caution due to crime. So I hope, you know, they are found and I really hope this is an eye opener to everyone that travels. Just make sure you're alert, make sure you're aware of your surroundings. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Thank you guys so much for watching.